I guess if this doesn't shock you, I don't know what will. Get it? Because it's a shock. Like, shock. Now this one's broken. Trash. video I hope you're doing well thanks for joining us on our pursuit of simple rural living now we have something that's going on with our rooftop tent that's on top of our Toyota Tacoma and I'm gonna pop it up here today and kind of show you what's going on we got this rooftop tent about 15 months ago so almost a year and a half and it's a CVT hard shell pop-up roof rooftop tent uh, it's got a ladder that we set up on the side we took a 11 month long road trip all around the United States and we camped on public land all over the country and we used this tent uh, for our place to sleep whenever we weren't staying with friends and family it has been awesome uh, we have a hundred good things to say about it and we love our tent and it's super comfy and it's been great in pretty much every kind of weather. Uh, we did have something uh, happen when we were on our way back. We were in North Dakota and I popped up the tent uh, to show a friend. Pretty cold there, um, but I noticed this shock on the front left uh, wasn't extending all the way. And my first assumption was that it was because of how cold it was. And so the truck was parked in the sun and it was a warmer day for, for that time of year. And so uh, I just left the tent up all day long and it still never uh, pushed itself all the way up. So I played with it a little bit and tried to like push it up and it just uh, it, did, it didn't go up. Um, so I took a picture of the tent and I sent it to CBT. Kind of told them what was going on. They said that most likely the shock itself had gone bad and they were pretty quick on sending me a brand new shock and we're gonna climb up in the tent and we're gonna see if we can replace it. All right, here is the replacement shock that they sent to us. Uh, if you take this zipper right here, you can see the inside <clears> of <throat> the actual shock that's in here. My assumption is that the shock itself failed and it is uh, pressed in to the arms here so they just sent me the whole arm you know so that I don't have to drill out it's based on testing it seems to be working fine so all right we actually switched the the mattress in here out for a memory foam mattress and in the winter when it's cold it gets pretty hard but you just apply a little bit of weight to it and it starts going down it just moves a little bit slower how's that looking oh yeah all right so we have uh, 10 millimeter ratchet and crescent wrench and we'll see if we need anything else at the top and the bottom of this the sleeve there's elastic that's just tied off I also hope that the this side doesn't like hold up the whole tent as well when this leg is not functioning properly so I hope the front doesn't fall down on me oh come on it's a great time to do this too when it's freezing cold outside my fingers are already getting a little numb I'm just trying to get the sleeve off and it's on there pretty tight there we go oh yeah it is a bolt so this might be pretty easy to fix, we'll see here. All right, we have the top exposed. Let's see if we can get the bottom. 
Now we've been getting a lot of snow and this is the first day it's been sunny in a while. The other day it was just dumping down snow and there were some uh, guys that worked for the electric company and they came out to the back of the property and they were taking down an old telephone pole that doesn't get used anymore. Have the bottom exposed now as well. Would it be better to undo the top or the bottom first? We're gonna do the top first. I can make sure the ratchet's going the right way. Almost dropped the washer. So there's just a bolt on the top and there's a bolt on the bottom. Now I have a feeling that uh, this is gonna fall down once I Take this shock out. So I want to make sure I'm ready to put this in place. I actually lost one of the nuts on this, so good thing there's some that were already in here. All right, uh, the zipper ends at the top here, so um, I'm gonna do the same thing. Make sure, yeah, so the shock is on the lower part of the arm. It's like a transplant. Uh, I might be able to use my head to... Oh, there we go. Staying up. Alright. That shock over there is holding the front end up. Just keep my head up just in case it decides to come down a little bit. But I just gotta get this bolt out. Do you ever have times where your mind just like goes blank? You're trying to remember something? Rivets. That's what I was trying to remember. Rivets. I just needed to say that I was having a hard time. So these are riveted in. The brackets right here. And then what I was trying to say earlier is that the shock on the arm, it's riveted into the arm. And I'd have to drill out the rivets. But I couldn't remember the word rivet. And so I just said they were pressed in there. Ugh. It's always like the time when you need the word the most that you just forget it for some reason. Or like somebody's name, you know, or somebody asks you about something specific, an author, or a quote or something, and it's like something that you tell yourself all the time, you have no problem remembering it, but the, the moment that somebody asks you for the information, it just is gone. <clears throat> Alright, let's get this bottom one in here. I'm just going to shut this screen here. Just in case the camera falls over while I'm doing this. Alright, can you see the bracket down in there? Let me pull this back. just want you to be able to see what I'm doing. Alright, so we got this bracket. And then there's a reason why they put the nut on the outside. Because the bolt wouldn't fit if you went the other way. This is the only real problem we've had with this tent. A little bit of wear that we've put on it from using it. It has performed incredibly. Uh, we've enjoyed it. I think CBT is a great company. Bobby who owns the company, you know, first time we went in to um, look at a tent, he walked around with us for an hour. You know, we got to hang out with the owner of the company for an hour and he, uh, super kind, super nice, and after that experience, like, we decided to go with CBT. They were in Bend, Oregon. We lived about two hours away from Bend. It was convenient. It was the closest rooftop tent store to where we were. Our rooftop tent videos on our channel have, have been doing really well. 
It's a popular uh, product that people have gotten really into in the last couple of years, which has been cool to see. Now that we are stationary, we're trying to decide if if we're gonna hold on to this tent for now, if we're gonna sell this tent, and then maybe get a different tent uh, in the future. Uh, but we're in the processes process of just trying to save as much money as we can and we're going through all of our possessions right now um, and selling everything that we don't need and that's just been uh, really good to kind of liquidate everything because our dream is to live um, it's really simple and in a rural setting like we know we want to have a simple life as you know as simple as it can be with a with the family and then we also know we don't want to live in the city so um, we've kind of decided that our channel is going to narrow down into those three words simple rural living and even if we travel you know we still have trips planned we just planned a trip for uh, about six months from now we're going on a trip uh, outside of the country and even in the midst of travel we'll still be able to talk about topics that are related to simple rural living all right i need to bend this arm i'm gonna have to compress the shock and put the bolt in so let's see if i can do that oh man look at that just a little bit that's not good uh, sorry about that. You feel okay? You bonked your head a little bit. Alright, now we're talking. This shock is definitely uh, brand new. It's pushing up pretty good. So I'm going to have to pull it down to get this bolt in. Push up with my head. Oh no! Oh that! Come on! Not this! Come on! Shock's more powerful than you would think. Ah, oh, come on, just go through that other hole. It's sticking out. Let's just twist it a little bit. Uh, uh, come on. Uh, dang it, I pulled it out. Uh, okay. It's a little bit of a struggle. Uh, come on, get in there. Dang it. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. Come on, let's go in. <clears throat> Dang it, where is it off? It's off just a little bit. We can't tell. Oh man, it's so close. <clears throat> oh, it's getting warm in here. Come on. <clears throat> There's got to be a simpler way to do this. I feel like I'm screwing up the threads on this. Come on. Oh, yeah, the threads are all jacked up. Oh, they're not too bad. I'm gonna try a different bolt. <coughs> and take this <coughs> sweatshirt off because it's getting warm in here. And I'm trying to figure out if it would have been smart to connect the top first. The other ones are, seems like. Oh my gosh, it's so close. Get on the leaf, slug. You let off tired. Sorry, this is frustrating. All right, let's get this. It's actually closer when you push it up. It is so close right now. Yeah, that didn't do anything. <clears throat> come on, oh, come on. It is so close, so close. Well, the tent's actually, you know, sitting up really good now, uh, but I don't have this bolt in. Come on, Leroy. Okay, I'm gonna have to, uh, I don't wanna do this. I'm gonna have to take the bottom off and try it the other way, because this is not working. All right, I got the bottom off. It's more complicated than I thought. Just a little bit ago, I was saying it was gonna be easy. It's simple, it's definitely simple. It just takes a little finagling. All right, washer in place, nut 
in place. I'm going to tighten it down just a little bit. And now that bolt's in there good. I need to bend this. Get my legs out of the way. So it gets interesting. Okay. Now it's sitting on the bracket. Right now the shock is, is pressing down pretty good on that bracket. I just need to lift it up, get the bolt through there. Got it, got it, yes. Washer in place, locking nut in place. You guys, I just need to tighten these up. Top off here, just do a double square knot like that. And tuck the loose ends on the inside so it just makes it look clean. And I'm gonna do the same thing at the bottom. All right, I think that does it. We just need to test it out. Oh. Looks pretty good to me.